Okay, perfect. Thank you. Hi. Okay, I restart. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good good night to all the world uh, artists. Today I I try to mix this, the yellow and the red for creating the orange. Uh, and uh, after this, I create the brown shade with the the bl black, different blacks and different blue. Uh, it's very interesting uh, uh, triads. Uh, I had um, this triad in my in my set: uh, the uh, yellow and red and blue, uh, because it's a uh, one of the most popular in the in the art mixing uh, to create the, the the this shade. Okay, I'm starting very very fast today. I use the the three different. Uh, uh, tools, the sticks, the half pen, and the gouache. I try in the different uh, solution. Okay, I start with the sticks. I try these four combinations. Okay. Okay. The, the, the first is the outside yellow light and carmine. The second is Bismuth Banadate and Queen Red. The third is Oriolin, one of my favorite yellow, and Alizari, permanent Alizarin Crimson. And the fourth is Ansa Yellow Deep and Alizarin Crimson. Okay, I started. This is the first. With ansa yellow light is very very light yellow and starting with the this predominance and a little point of the carmine will create a very light orange. Another dot. And create this shade. Or starting with Carmine. Very, very strong in this case. <clears throat> At a little point of answer, yellow light for the strong orange. Okay. And now I, I try with, for example, with the lamb black, uh, ivory black, sorry. Or create the brown shade. <clears throat> and in this part, I take uh, only one part. And try with the blue, it's cobalt blue. A very, very different shade. Apply the zoom. Similar to violet, but it's a brown shade. Okay, the second with stick is very another very light yellow. It's bismuth vanadate. And create in this case with two different modes 
and Queen agreed on red. And the shade in now I try with lamb black brown shade. It's very strong black. And cobalt blue. completely different because in this case I have a predominance of red. Okay. The third stick selection is Oriole in a permanent lizard in crimson. I use in this case a lot of part of Alizarine, uh, or urine, sorry. The cobalt yellow. And I'll only one dot of permanent alizarine cream, so. The power of my light. For very light, light orange. And I use the ivory black for the brown shade. The cobalt blue. But obtain the green shade. But I changed the sequence it permanently in crimson before. And one dot really obtain a, a strong orange and use the ivory and obtain this shade of brown. And cobalt blue. For this shade. Change completely. We change your sequence. Selection of sticks. Is an outside yellow deep is very strong yellow. But is very transparent. And a lizard in crimson. Okay. And I use the 
one dot of plum black in the center for the light brown. Apply another dot. And in this case, I try to apply the dot inside with cobalt blue and create this gray brown, very interesting. Okay, another is very, very last my selection from my set with stick is Ansa Yellow Medium and Queen Coral is very central color because it is a mono pigment. It's perfect for the mixing or create a beautiful shade. Very light, the queen coral. That's perfect for creating the one beautiful orange shade. Now, apply the ivory black in the center. For the green brown. And cobalt blue. Or change your shade. Okay. I create a, a green shade, brown green shade. Under focus, okay. Perfect. Okay, now. Thank you, Gio. Yeah. I'm seeing Sabine um, done with her mixes of orange. Are you ready to share, Absolutely. Sabine? Yes. Oh. Okay, I um, mixed here uh, one, two, three, four, five different oranges. This is uh, bismuth and Venetian red three times, and also Aussie red gold and Mayan red, and the mass yellow and red fuchsid. and the chrome titan and rhodonite genuine and this is aussie red gold with rhodonite and uh, the aussie red gold is so much strong he comes uh, every time he comes out and here is the bismuth and the Venetian red, and this is the same, but with Indian throne blue. This is mixed bismuth, Venetian red, and Indian throne blue. And that 
Oh, it's not ready. There came lamp plaque and we can do it right now. So I had a little container and took the color in. And some water. And you remember this is bismuth and when it's in red on the underground and I go with the lamp black, I go over the color. And on the end, a little bit more thinner. And so you see a fantastic color. And this is uh, Aussie red gold, Mayan red and Mayan blue. And you see here is the Mayan blue uh, very dominant. And here it comes to brown out. And here I want to mix with Luna Black. And here's the Luna Black. And you don't need much color, just a little bit. And on the underground, there is the Aussie red gold and Mayan red. And now it comes the lunar black over there. A layer of lunar black. And you see, it's fantastic. The lunar black granulated and the red comes out. And it's a, a red brown. I like it very much. It's fantastic. And now we have the mass yellow and red fuchsid. And here I want to have the French ultramarine a layer over there. First, I must close my colors. So we have here the French ultramarine over the mass yellow and the red foxit. And a little bit more water. And you see the mix. It's just a creepy light brown. And the next were the black tourmaline. Over the same layer with mass yellow and red foxit. Here's the color. And it's a Prima Tech color. I love the Prima Techs. It's like you draw with very old minerals. And a little bit of water. And it's like between a little bit 
I, I don't know if you see it in the camera. It's like, a, it's, it's between a very, a little bit black and, and a little bit brown. It's amazing. And then we have on the next side, we have the chrome titan with Rodonit. And uh, Rodonit, it's a Primatec 2. And we mix it here with the blue appetite. And that's a Primatec color 2. And mix it with a little bit water. And you can start it. You see so much colors inside. And you see here, it's just a blue and and a little bit green, and with more water, with, with a little bit more water, you come to green over there. And when you go on the layer and, and mix a little bit more, Oh, I love it too. And the last one is with neutral tint. And I love this color very much. The, uh, that one. Because it's, um, a, it's not a, a really black. It's uh, a little bit gray. And a little bit, oops, we must save this color. <laughs> it's a blue and, and a gray. It's not really a black. And I started here. And a little bit more water. And so you have such beautiful colors. I love it. Thank you, Sabine. Thanks for with showing. Mark. Yeah, Mark, you've got something to share with your swatch there? Um, it's just drying at the moment, so you'll have to come back to me. I, I can't help it up, but I'll just slide <laughs> off the page. No worries. <laughs> okay, we'll have Angela then. Angela and her in the spot um, mixes. Hi. Yes, I did first the the red and yellow. I used three different yellows. One is the quinacridone gold, my favorite. The quinacridone gold is in this area here. And uh, then the Nicolaso yellow, also very powerful. And this is the, on this side, it was the Hansa yellow medium. A very light, soft color. So on here, on the um, Hansa yellow, uh, sorry, the Nicolaso yellow, I painted some alizarin crimson. And so the, the orange became almost red because the alizarin is quite powerful. And here I painted uh, carmine. So this is uh, with the blue, it has become 
like brown now, a purplish brown. And here, uh, this blue um, is the manganese blue. So it's a light blue. And you see what shades of green it, it makes and, and also some purplish from the alizarin. And the, here there is ultramarine blue on top. I use ultramarine blue and here as well, and some cobalt. So I, I have used these three blues and these yellows are very, very light. I love exactly what it is doing here. As I inclined it, it, it started to, to make, can you see? It runs and it has many shades in it. So um, I think that's, that's really wonderful. If you notice, friends, on up on Facebook and in our Thursday Live recaps, just scanning through how many Thursday Lives we did, you'll find lots of inspiration for your color mixes. And also Angela has her on the spot painting. So like abstract pieces from Angela. For over a year, I think she's collected more than these already. Yeah, several. <laughs> several. Thank you. And they're all um, it's the beauty of these paintings, you know what the, mo the, the what I like most is that they are so unpredictable. The unpredictability of it, it might seem a weak point, but for me it's a, it's a nice thing. I like that it's unpredictable. And now I will put some other layers and see what happens. Thanks for sharing, Angela. Um, may we invite Rick? Has prepared a beautiful artwork done today, if I'm not mistaken. Ready, Rick, to share? Yeah, start by it there. All right. Your mic is off, uh, Rick. How's that? <laughs> okay, it, it doesn't, it's a little bit um, faded. Oh, that's better. Now, I've been using uh, gouache on this uh, painting, and what I like about it so much is the, the the gouache it's it's opaque, and so I can lay down some heavy colors, and then as it dries, it has a nice feel about it, and and the colors just blend so well. I use uh, wet on wet. I also use the spray bottle, but uh, some of the colors here are power orange. I do, do not have Quinn Gold in um, the gouache yet, but, but I will have it as soon as it's available. But I like to use, uh, this is like Power Scarlet, Power Orange, <laughs> and Hansa Yellow Deep, and Hansa Yellow Light, Cobalt Blue, uh, and a, a mixed neutral tint with these colors to get these deep, rich uh, background colors. And then a lot of it is wet on wet to begin with. And then as I as I paint and the painting sort of has its own, um, it guides me more or less to what it, I want it to be. And as it dries, then I can go back with the um, liner brushes to make these tree limbs. And I also use uh, titanium white in with that. And what I like about the white uh, being the gouache, when this area is wet and I lay in some of that titanium white, it just blends and bleeds nicely into that area. And the same thing with the blues and the skies. Oh, I also uh, like to use lavender in, in the with the blue. So, so that just works very, very well. Now, I paint loose and then I tighten it up as I start uh, to, to finish the piece of work. And um, especially with the gouache being opaque, I can go back in and put a light over a dark and it has a nice uh, uh, effect with that. So if you have any questions, just put them in the feed and I'll try to answer them. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Rick. I was like halfway reading Buffy's question, but Buffy said you've perfectly answered it. 
Oh, good. So now we're going to have Giovanni again with a few more new mixes. Okay. Do you know? Okay. I I continue my mixes with the the yellow and red. Uh, this is a, a particular mix. It's not all, very very orange, but it's very particular. It's nepal yellow and anthraquinoid red. And um, in the bottom is um the mixes. Uh, uh, this is a uh, mixes all together with lamb black for obtain this this shade. The another is a uh, uh, new gamboge and carmine, and uh, obtain uh, this orange, and uh, in this part is what well, lamb black and cobalt blue shade for create this brown shade. The third is a lemon yellow and permanent red deep. It's very different. Obtain this beautiful shade of orange. It's very, very light in this case. In this case, I use the uh, lamb black and cobalt blue. With cobalt blue, is little, little green, but it's very, very interesting. And in the last is the Mayan, all the Mayan, Mayan yellow. Mayan reds and Mayan blue. I obtain this shade of <clears throat> orange, very, very light. And with only with lamb black, I obtain this beautiful uh, light brown. It's very, very interesting for, for this mix. And now I'm starting with the gouache. I created the these mixings. Okay, this is my selection. But in this case, I use two blue and the black, the lamb black. I start with the first directly on the paper. The first is answer yellow light. and Piro Scarlet. I take one point of ultramarine blue. Cobalt blue. Sorry. And Lamb Black. Okay. I take one point and create this very strong orange with ultramarine, little, little point. And create the shade brown. Cobalt blue. It's a little green. Very strong. And the last. More red. Very intensive orange, fly more on the point of I don't use the water in this case. Little little point of lamb black.
it created this beautiful shade of brown or the dark orange. Very, very interesting. The second, Once a yellow medium. Pyro red. Very beautiful. <clears throat> I love this. Oh, sorry, put my right here. And ultramarine blue. Now we apply more yellow, only one dot of red for the light, orange, and cobalt, but obtain the green because it's a predominance of yellow. Another point of red. We change the green in brown shade. The last, starting with red. Play the yellow, more yellow, and little point of lamb black. and obtain this shade. Try on zoom. This is very strong. Okay. The last selection of gouache is Ansa Yellow Deep. And Queen Agridon Magenta. Created. First is a predominance of yellow. With one point of magenta. And when I create this mix, this is a little, little brownish inside, but very, very little. It's ultramarine. Oh, 
point of opening. Okay, very busy. But now I try the same, but starting with Queen Magenta, uh, Queen um, Magenta. Point of yellow. Ultramarine. And obtain this different strong shade with a predominant check difference in, in zoom. Yellow before and red before. Very interesting shade. And continue with the yellow and the magenta. This point of yellow. And cobalt blue. Okay, and the last, oops, sorry, I create this shade. Plum black. I use the plum black on the right side with the red predominance, and I use plum black. In the left side with the predominance of yellow. Okay. Obtain the, this shade. Very beautiful. Now with the, the gouache, I try this experiment but i use after this the titanium white for desaturating for creating from mm, starting from yellow and red create the orange after the brown and desaturated for the pastel tone i try with this okay i think for the first selection, and say yellow light. And pyroscar, let's say. And create.
Beleza. Orange. Ok. Beautiful. First is ultramarine blue. Cobalt blue. Point obtain this brown shade. Cobalt. And one black. Very strong brown. Now I desaturated with titanium white. Or obtain a beautiful gray brown. Giovanni, when you're painting with the gouaches, do you use brushes with shorter bristles? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I prefer these. Uh, I don't. I don't prefer the the long hair. I prefer the the very very short and very hard. Okay. I prefer it because it's uh, it's better for the um, for the shade for mixing better the the color. Thank you. You're welcome. And obtain this beautiful brown, desaturated. It's very, very interesting. The last, I will try with another. Yeah, there's a question from Diane. Yeah. The first color there, your yellow, is the Tansa yellow and which mixer? What's the other color? The Pearl Scarlet. The Pearl Scarlet. I try the, the last is answer yellow deep. We magenta. Lamb black. A little dot. And titanium white. For, for the gouache, the, the, the flat brush is better for me. For the brush stroke is, is perfect. I have the perfect control for mixing. Little dot of black. With this strong, in this case, I use a little water. The, the gouache is very beautiful because it's good mixing directly on paper. And it 
Tiny White. So create this very light brown shade. Okay. Theo? Perfect. Yeah. The icon um, and an artwork there, which of course is mixed for today. We'll put yeah. down Hello. Oh, is it? Okay. Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, these are my mixes. Uh, I used all orange. Uh, has a yellow medium pyro red here plus cobalt blue uh, for brown that's beautiful the same uh, orange and plus ultramarine french ultramarine here uh, second uh, orange pyro red plus yellow ochre here uh, to this orange, cobalt Again, blue. Do you mind pulling your... Uh, okay. Is it okay now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's okay now. Uh, pyrrole red plus yellow ochre for this orange. And to this orange, I added uh, cobalt blue here. Or brown. And to this orange again, uh, French ultramarine here. Another orange, uh, Hansa yellow medium plus uh, opera pink here for orange. To this orange, cobalt blue. And to this orange, French ultramarine here. Uh, another orange, uh, yellow ochre plus pink opera here. To this orange, cobalt blue again. And to this orange, French ultramarine again. Below, uh, another experiment. Pyrrole red plus patola green, uh, blue shade here. Uh, Pyrrole red plus sap green deep here. In the middle of the mix, this is all these two colors. Opera pink plus solar green here. And again, opera pink plus sap green deep here. That's a unique mix, the last row. Hmm. These are my mixes, April and France. And here. Wow. I try to make a little sketch with these yellows and oranges and browns. That's great. Mm. Very nice. Will you be sharing this on your Instagram, Erkin? Uh, no, not this one, but... Uh, Last week I made this. Uh, mm. I sh I shared this one. We'll look out uh, for that. Mostly I. Uh, may I share my uh, laptop screen? Um, you can actually. You you have something up on your screen. Uh, my laptop screen. Uh, Okay, there you go. You can click on share, the share button. Okay, let me. Oh. Mostly I uh, share these uh, artworks on my social media.
That's nice. Erwin, how are you doing your whites on the water in the last one? Sorry? This one? How are, on this one, how are you doing your whites, the reflection just to come right down straight uh, toward me? In this painting, I used uh, for the best uh, white uh, gouache and uh, white watercolor. In some places, white gouache, and in some places, uh, white watercolor. Thank you. But, but only uh, at the mask. For example, the boat less uh, on the left hand side, uh, the paper's white. Hmm. Very clean. And goes on. Thank you for asking. Thank you for sharing. Nice work. Okay, I think we've. It's a minute left. Um, we have Angela. I saw her final, her second piece of the day. Are you ready to share your second? There you go. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> when I have the remaining colors, I try to, to just put them like that. And so I used a mix of all the yellows and the three reds. And this is lunar black. <clears throat> this last one is lunar black. And because I like granulation, you see how much granulation is. Mm. Yes, very nice. But I'll show you how the other one transformed also. This is the the previous one. Energy here. Sorry? The beautiful energy. Ah, thank you. Yes. This is amazing. Because I used more blue, it was a bit weak with blue, and and then lunar black. Because I don't think I have the 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 black the lamp black, but um, yes, playing with black and it, it's like the black lunar black drags the colors with it. You know, it it mm. it drags and it and it mixes. Like here it was the alizarin to mix with the yellows and the and the blues to create greens, and you know because the there is beautiful red. I like these these intense colors. And this will we'll see what what happens with this when it dries. Okay, it's always uh, the way to do it is always a lot of color and a lot of water with inclination. That's all. It's amazing granulation, Angela, mm -hmm. and the and the color is the, the white and the black and and the yellow in the black. It's it's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's just crazy way of putting the colors. You know, no. Yeah. No special intention, but if you let the color do um, its, its own work, no, wants to do. It reflects a little. Yeah. But I think you can amazing texture, Angela. Very beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Yes, this is the the big um, merit of, of the lunar black. It's the lunar black that does everything, <laughs> especially on yellow. Uh, you know that lunar black on yellow, it pushes the yellow away, like here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, yeah. I also use lunar black because I don't have lamp black like you, Angela. Yes. Yeah, you have great uh -huh. work. I love it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful, Angela. Well, Anna, you're sharing. Anna. Anna, you're sharing. Yes, Anna. Please. Oh. Well, I well I I am inspired by Angela, so I started very like Giovanni, but then I I went a little. But I don't have like Angela, but it's uh, I I did all the colors, there, and you can see it's lunar black. Maybe it's not showing the granulation, but but here I did start with that, and I I maybe I should go more. Uh, yes, more color intense and like yes, Angela. I, and I'm very shy here, <laughs> so I Lovely. I love her work and uh, but I I did all the yellows I have and um, and reds and I I did put um the cobalt blue that uh, Giovanni was using but then I also went with cerulean blue because it granulates also but it's not fully dry but I'll I'll see later how it's but I I do like the you can see a little here the cerulean. 
Yes. Maybe. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, and Mark. Yes. Ah. So I only got as far as the first two colors because um, I, I like what I saw, but uh, I just took um, the yellows and reds I have and started mixing them together. Yeah, wow. And um, yeah, that oh, so yes. looks quite cosmic. Space. <laughs> yes. 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 Like a but nebula. Uh -huh. but yes. This is uh, bismuth vanadate, hence the yellow light, um, cadmium yellow medium. And then quin red, pyrrole red, uh, organic vermilion, and also the new, um, new uh, what's the new yellow called again? It's uh, chrome titanate, which is uh, it's all these splatters here. You can see they. That, can, you, uh, can you see that color again? Uh, chrome titanate. Is it the yellow? Yeah, the new yeah. one. It's the new release uh, color this year. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, I'll stop there because I quite like this. <laughs> yes, don't touch it. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Nice, Mark. Today we Very nice. saw another beautiful mixes, and yes, all these will be available on our Thursday live recap, which will access through our newsletter. If you haven't subscribed, you can do so. And of course, you just watch the recorded session again on YouTube or even here on Facebook. Tomorrow, we will be joined by Agustina Fernandez from Argentina, and we will be helped by Angela for translation, but you can go ahead and check her profile, okay? And yeah, let's meet each other again tomorrow at 10.30. I can recommend her session very much. She's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. A wonderful Thank afternoon. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. everybody. Thank you. Thanks for recording. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.